Ladies and gentlemen, today we have Goran Vidovic, champion of Sina Golden League 2019 National Finals and champion of National Throne Through Basketball Club Elite League 2019. And he's going to represent Team Shangshi Longchuan from Shanghai at the upcoming Sina Elite League 2019 later this December. Thank you for joining us, Goran. Thank you very much for having me. All right, man. Two months ago at the Sina Golden League National Finals, you put a fatal shot in the overtime and knocked out the two-time defending champion team No Who. Did that championship title like bring you any girlfriend? <laughs> no, like, no, that that championship title, like that, that shot, definitely changed the the everything. Like everything from that shot on, like everything get better for me and my team. So like. And yes, that, that brought me many. Oh, a yes? So it yes. did bring you a girlfriend after the champion yes, title? Sir. Yes, sir. Wow, look at you. Wow, that was gonna mm. like a funny joke that I was like, start with, but wow. Okay. So that fatal shot, like, did bring you a girlfriend. And what, what preparations have you been like, you know, making after the, the fatal shot? And now you're about to face with, you know, the Cine Lili 2019 later this December. Mm, the so we prepare after we won the the national title of China, uh, the national league. Like we prepare, we prepared every day since that. Like for the for the for the Sina Sina elite uh, Sina Golden League tournament, and uh, we prepared every day. We 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 try to do our best every day on practice on lifting on everything just to just to make sure that we are able to win the title and at the end of the day that was enough to win it so we're all happy about that awesome awesome as we know milan kovacvic uh, the number five fiba player ranking in slovenia now is in your team and have you played with slash against him before uh, what's your thoughts on the extra power that milan is going to give you no he uh so i never played Either against him or with him, but uh, actually, we like we didn't even meet because, like, I was flying back to Serbia on November 25th, and he flew like to the China on November 25th. So I never met him, but uh, I watched his videos on, on YouTube, and he's a great, great player. He's 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 a late player, so like he'll definitely be a great add-on on our team. Yeah, and I know like this time you guys will be, you know, hands on hand and play together as both of you are in the national team as well for your own countries. What does it mean to you like if you play against each other next year in the Tokyo Olympics? Uh, well, first of all, I'm not going to play in to Tokyo Olympics, I think, oh. for sure. Okay. Yeah, but 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 uh, it'll be in like in the future I expect to play against him and that'll be that'll be fun for, him, for sure. Yeah, yeah, and you have that experience as teammates. Now you're gonna be playing against each other. That would be fun. And uh, do you have any suggestions to your like Chinese teammates uh, as they're about to play against the best through and three players in the world? I would just say, just be you. Like, don't care who you play against. Just respect your opponent and play play the best of your ability to win. And that's it. Like, you prepare. You know how much you practice. You know how how good you practice. So. Like, just have confidence and go out there and play. Okay, okay. How does it feel you're going to represent a Chinese team competing against a Serbian team? It's going to be, it's going to be fun for sure. Like, I, I like my Chinese team. I like the, the teammates. And it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm going to do... I don't care who I'm playing against, either it's Serbian team or any other team. I'm just going to play. I'm going to play to win, but... At the end of the day, I know they're from, we're from the same country and I love those guys more than anything. But like on the court, like we're, we're representing our teams. Okay, okay. Last time I interviewed you, like you said you wanted to play or like one-on-one -on -one against, you know, Stefan Stoicic. Now your dream yeah. is about to come true, like, you know, in the scene of Lily. Yeah. Any words you want to share to him prior to this event? Uh, I'm just saying good luck because if I say some, I like to trash talk, and if I trash talk to him, I know I'm a, I'm a good like he will beat me <laughs> up. So I'm not gonna do the, any any of that. Okay. I'm just saying good luck. <laughs> That's it. All right, all right. Looking forward to that. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> so this year, the C9 Lady 2019 is going to include Morris Anger, an ex NBA player who was the first round pick in NBA draft in 2006. 
by Dallas Mavericks, and uh, he played over 80 games in NBA. What's your odds against this player? Like, he he got to be a great player, though. Like, I I didn't know how he played three x three because it's it's much more different in the basketball, but. He's he's for sure an elite player. Like he he was in the NBA. He played the games in the NBA. He played he played against the best. So I know he he he's a great he's a great player for sure. Okay, so comparing with you know Stefan Stojic from Lima, and you know he's the other hand is uh, the ex NBA player Morris Ager representing Vietnam. Which one you would rather play against? Uh, yeah, I, I would like to play against Stefan because I never play against Stefan on the on the official tournament. So I like to uh, and I watch him a lot. I practice with him, but I never play against him. So I like I, I would like to to see how. How good is he, like on that court for for real? Thank you, thank you. Because most of the teams that when I ask this question is like many people say I would rather play against the ex NBA player because he lacks a three on three experience. But this is your final choice. You would rather play yeah, yeah. against Stefan. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, Last good. question: What's your final goal for the Cine Lili 2019? Like, I would I would say just like I said. To you on the on the previous tournament, we we are going there to win the title. So like we'll do our best to win the title, and if that happens, we'll be happy. If that don't happen, and we do our best, we'll be happy anyway because we did everything we could to win, and we know we play against the best teams. So either way, we are going to we are going we are going there like to try to win the the title. All right, pretty. Confidence and looking forward to having you, man. And thanks for the all those looking you know, forward to see you again. Great insights, man. All right. Hey, people. I'm Warren Vidovich. I'm going to represent SSL C team uh, from Shanghai in Cine Elite League in uh, Guangzhou in December. And I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to see you all there. Boom. You got it. All right. Great. Thank you. All right. Looking all right, forward to having you, man. Thank you very much. See you, man. Soon. See you soon, see you. bro.